Today we're going to talk about something you don't really hear about in this context, and that's addiction and how pretty much it's been uh, taken advantage of head to toe. Hey there, NJRoot22.com with another odd vlog today, and this is about uh, addiction for money, I guess is a, is a good title for it. Um, and I find it fascinating because, you know, I don't think people really think about it in this aspect, how the human condition of addiction, something that you want and will pay for, um, has been taken advantage of, I think, pretty much completely. I think every form of human addiction has been taken advantage of for monetary gain or power or control. Um, it, it's a very bizarre phenomenon. Like, and I'll, I'll just go over like some random forms of addiction. Like, for instance, there's like street level addiction. You know, you sell crack cocaine on the street and you have an addicted customer who's going to beg, borrow, rob, and steal to get more money in your hand for more drugs in their body. And that's, that's a very low level addiction, um, which is uh, illegal by uh, today's laws. Um, and then there's other, other things such as like your ego. The human ego is a very uh, sensitive thing and people love to boost their ego. And like some uh, examples of, of the addiction are like the social media apps, uh, self-improvement, uh, diet, exercise, plastic surgery, all these people. I see all these people running around that are completely um, you know, out of shape and they just want a better image and, and they buy exercise equipment, all that stuff. It, that's, a, that's a form of uh, human addiction, you know, self-improvement and all that. It sounds silly, but it's, it's true. And then there's an emotional type of addiction, um, whether that's, uh, you know, watching uh, entertainment programs like TV shows or sporting events. Um, and they keep you going, like they, they make you buy monthly subscriptions to Netflix and they produce all these propaganda spewing shows that, uh, you know, unknowingly uh, you get addicted to because they're well written and obviously have some psychological influence on you. And then, of course, there's the, the issue of tribalism. I don't know how addictive that is per se, but tribalism, you know, your sports team, your political party, even gangs, for instance, everybody wants to be a part of some group and then someone's going to take advantage of that group identity, whether it's fat people or gender uh, issues or... Um, you know, sexuality, all this stuff. It, someone's over there taking advantage of the fact that you belong to some sort of group or like some sort of team and so on. And of course, um, food uh, gets, is also an addiction because they, they get you addicted by putting addictive chemicals in it like MSG and sugar and all that stuff. And then people get uh, obese and then they have to go to the gym and like, they're, like look, it's like this circular like spiral, um, this feedback loop where they addict you to the food. And, and I talked about this the other day with the drug stores and I called them self-fulfilling pharmacies. And they don't even hide it anymore. They, <clears throat> they sell the cook Oreo cookies and then you walk back to the pharmacist and get your uh, obesity drugs or your statins or whatever else they pump in your body. But they're getting money from you or, or your insurance company or whatever every single time. They feed your pleasure center for food, then they take care of your fears by giving you pills to help your illnesses. It's like, it's, uh, it's crazy. But, and just think about it. Think about all the things in your life that are probably related to something addictive. And it's a shame that, uh, that there's someone out there taking advantage of it. I guess that's one of the byproducts of capitalism. It's, it's legal, you, ch you chose to do it, but you are, uh, not identifying with your addiction. You identify with all the wrong things except your addictions. But there are good addictions and you know I talked about some good habits to have for, for 2020 or forever for that matter um, and I guess one of the things you might want to be addicted to or have good habits is keeping your family safe and prepared for the future whether it's uh, having enough money or supplies or um, keeping uh, savings and so on um, and and 
If you could be addicted to making sure your children um, have a good future and are prepared and can critically think and grow, that is a very good addiction to have. Um, as long as none of these addictions or good habits become obsessive to the point where they're unpleasant. There's a, a fine line there where you can cross and then it becomes uh, detrimental instead of uh, positive. Um, and I, I really do think that most people should avoid almost everything mainstream. And it's not easy to, and that includes ideas, because most mainstream ideas are byproducts of some funnel, funneling system that gets you into a certain hole or corner or group. Uh, it, it's pretty well thought out. Uh, it's hard to escape that labyrinth um, without, a, without a good head on your shoulders and, and being able to identify with the problems that are out there. Um, and that's it. Uh, you just, critical thinking and, and good observational skills are important and always ask who benefits from this or who benefits from that and then you'll start realizing that, uh, that uh, they don't have your best interest in mind with all this stuff. So please hit the like, the subscribe, and stay tuned for another video. Thank you again for watching.